Section A, the VSPPR theory. Scientists have developed a number of theories about how atoms arrange themselves in a molecule. The shape the atoms form in a molecule is called molecular geometry. A common model used to predict molecular geometry is the valence shell electron pair repulsion model, known as the VSEPR model. The VSEPR model predicts molecular geometry by describing how electron pairs bond and theorizing how electron pairs and bonds will affect the shape of the molecule. According to the VSEPR model, the electron pairs in a molecule's valence shell are arranged so that they're as far away from each other as possible. In other words, the electrons act like they repel each other. Whenever you're trying to predict molecular geometry, be sure to Vesper. The VSEPR model says that a molecule with two pairs of shared electrons has a linear shape. Using the VSEPR theory, if you know that a molecule has two pairs of shared electrons, you can predict that the molecule will have a linear shape. This linear shaped molecule is represented by the notation AX sub 2. The sub 2 tells you that there are two pairs of shared electrons. AX sub 2. Linear! A molecule with three pairs of shared electrons is called trigonal. And here is a picture of what the VSEPR theory says it looks like. Trigonal molecules, those that have three pairs of shared electrons, are represented by the notation AX sub 3. The sub 3 tells you that the molecule has three pairs of shared electrons. Molecules can also have non-bonding electron pairs. The non-bonding electron pair takes the place that a regular bond would occupy. We will use water again as an example, but know that this example shows you only one of the many possible arrangements of bonds and atoms. Be sure to check out the others in your textbook. I'm checking out the other arrangements in my textbook. Water has two bonds between hydrogen and oxygen, but oxygen also has two non-bonding electron pairs. This gives water a tetrahedral arrangement of electron pairs and bonds. Since diagrams don't usually show the non-bonding electrons of oxygen, we usually just say that the water molecule is bent rather than referring to it as tetrahedral. That bent, bent, bent.